Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time watching me, welcome and happy Sunday. This is part two of my empties from February. I filmed part one a few weeks ago and then, you know, a couple of weeks passed and now I'm filming part two. This video will be a little bit longer. I do have some candles I'm going to be able to talk about. I got another candle crock. I actually bought two. So I'm able to put a dent in my candles again. I'm so happy for that. And then I have some more vendors to talk about today, including two, but not limited to Super Tarts, Rose Girls, Sassy Girl Aroma, Second and Spruce, Teddy Bees, and there might be another couple in here. I can't remember. Um, Glitterati. So that's what's going to be in this video. And I have a couple of soaps and a, a, a retail one to talk about. So I'm going to just dive right in. Um, happy Sunday. I'm upstairs. My video I filmed yesterday was downstairs in my living room. But the Sunday selection show for the March Madness basketball tournament is on down there. So... My husband is parked on the couch watching that. Um, they announced all the teams, and now it's in the ana analysis mode. So I'm going to start with the candles, just because I haven't done a lot of candles lately on my channel. Um, I had a candle crock last year that I had an accident with, and I had to throw it away. I'm going to go ahead and take these off because of the glare on the window. Um, I don't have my ring light today because it's still light outside. So I had my candle crock last year and I had an accident and I couldn't clean it. So I had to get, I had to give it to the garbage can <laughs> and I have been looking for one. The one I really liked on Amazon was back order for such some, such a long time. And then I found a couple of candle crocks from another place and I bought two. So if one happens to this one, I have a backup and I love this candle crock that I'm using. Um, so I, what I did is I have some partially used candles in my collection. I was, I was burning candles over the holidays, November, December, January. I was burning candles downstairs, a complimentary scent to whatever I had in my warmers. But then, you know, sometimes I just, it doesn't do it for me anymore. Lighting a candle. Yes. The ambiance is nice and such, but I, I get such poor performance from candles overall anymore there the the draw just isn't there for me to burn them so um i took a quite a bit of i have some fall candles in here a couple holiday candles um a halloween candle and just ones that i have partially used and i wanted to get them spent and get them out so that's what these ones are here the first one here no particular order this one is chocolate espresso martini from Bath and Body Works. Sorry for the glare from the window. But this was a limited edition candle that was from 2022. I got this in September 2022. Chocolate espresso martini. This is coffee liqueur, espresso, a splash of vodka, and dark chocolate swirl. So I'm not a chocolate wax person. Candles, wax, what have you. But the fact that there's espresso in here, I can do chocolate and espresso, mocha. So I grabbed this candle. This was back when they were doing limited edition. These are new, not the ones from the vault. I haven't been following Bath and Body Works. We are divorced uh, for the most part. So I don't know if they have, if they brought ones back from the vault or not. I don't know. I'm really trying hard not to go into Bath and Body Works. The only exceptions are the semi-annual sales and if I have to buy anything for my mom. So if the vault ones have come, I don't know. I'm not your person for Bath and Body Works new stuff right now. So I liked this candle. You see, I, I burnt half of it and then I took it upstairs and because, you know, it, it, it wasn't throwing very well. However, when I put this down on my candle crock and the whole thing was warmed, I smelled this for a few days. So I was able to get a couple of days out of this. I leave my candle crock on 24 hours a day. Sometimes if I'm going away all day, I'll turn it off. But most of the time, if I'm here, I do work from home. So I'm able to, you know, I'm, I'm here most of the time. I leave it on and I, I could smell this for at least two days. I liked this candle. Was it enough for me if this ever came back to buy again? No, because it's just a creamy chocolate richness. This is similar to Coffee House from Goose Creek. If you've ever smelled that one, I have that actually 
I'll talk about that one next because I finished it up too. So <laughs> this one was very similar to Coffee House from Goose Creek. So that's a great segue into my next candle, which is Coffee House from Goose Creek. Yes, this is an old one. This is back when they were still doing their jars. I know they discontinued doing their jars, but this one here, this, I used to shop with Goose Creek. I don't know when I bought this, but between 20, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, in that range is when I purchased a lot from Goose Creek. And I have, I think, 16 or 17 more large jar candles, but I'm going to start depleting those. So um, if you do have those in your collection in any the same sense that I have, you know, you're in for a treat when I, when I work on them in the next several months. So I, I really, there was a candle from Goose Creek called Turkish Coffee. And Turkish Cocky, Cocky, yeah, Tur Turkish Coffee uh, just had this nice, it reminded me of Jell-O Cook and Serve chocolate pudding. You know, the kind that you have to continuously stir and you pour into your bowls. The kind that my mom made as a kid. She, my, there wasn't instant pudding in my home as a kid. There was only cook and serve. So just the scent of that and making it reminded me of Turkish coffee with a little bit of coffee. This has a very similar vibe. It's not as strong in the coffee as uh, Turkish coffee is. This has more of a chocolate vibe to it. And I believe even coffee house, uh, coffee house oils in wax melts I think do have a chocolate note to it and if they really don't to my nose my nose interprets this as a chocolatey note any blend and this is this is my least favorite coffee I will say because I don't always want a chocolate note with my coffee does chocolate and coffee accent each other absolutely they do but I don't always want to smell chocolate in my wax but I will say this did perform very well I wore, well, I, I, I burned most of this candle, but this has been sitting untouched for several years. This, this is not a new candle. And I put this in my warmer, and once this whole thing uh, melted, I had such a wonderful chocolate coffee scent downstairs because I have my candle crock down and my open concept. So I, I melted for the next couple of days a lot of bakery. I even had other coffee blends going down there just so the whole the whole scenario down there was coffee in coffee house vibes. So that being said, I, I, I do like this, but this is a little bit too of a chocolate creamy note to me. But if somebody gifted me a candle like this, would I use it? Yes. It's just I'm not in love with it. But I didn't hate it. I hope that makes sense. So this is Coffee House from Goose Creek. Next, we'll do the other Goose Creek. This is a Halloween candle. This is Witch's Cauldron. Another old one. I absolutely loved this candle. I know that Goose Creek, I don't have any more Goose Creek ones here, but I know Goose Creek has candles in jars like this. And I know that they have, they, they release their Halloween candles in that, in that variety. So I'm going to look for Witch's Cauldron again, because I absolutely loved this. There's patchouli in this and other spooky vibes. This is supposed to evoke kind of something similar to Witch's Cauldron, not Witch's Cauldron, um, uh, what's the one from Yankee, uh, Witch's Brew, Witch's Brew, I think it's called. It's supposed to be similar to Witch's Brew, where it has patchouli and spooky vibes and just, just kind of like walking into the, the, the wicked, not the Wicked Witch of the West, but the, the, the witch within, in Snow White, where she gives her the poisoned apple. This is what I would imagine her house smells like, something that's just earthy and up to no good really that's what this smells like but I'll tell you I had this downstairs there's quite a bit left in this I started to burn this last year and I wasn't getting what I wanted I had to be right up on it so I thought I'm gonna save this for my crock once I get another one and I'm so glad I did because this just if you like patchouli this this isn't just you know super um 
incensey patchouli or hippie patchouli or whatever, however you want to describe it. This is a creamier patchouli because it has other other notes in it. And I apologize for not having those notes. I, I try not to look at Goose Creek because then the little part of me in the back says, well, give him another chance, Ashley. Give him another chance. Even though I have told myself, no, I have... I don't have success with candles. I, I just, I have moved on to wickless melting wax. So I'm not into wanting to buy more. However, at Halloween time or when the Halloween candles are released, I will allow myself to look and see if this exists because I love this. And I, this scent, scented my downstairs for three days. I could smell this lightly in the air and I thought, man, that's a nice fragrance. This is something I would really, I would melt this all year in my home. I love this. A plus. Very, very good. And I love the picture on the front of this, the stock photo that they used of the, the witch's cauldron. Let's keep with fall next. I have a couple more masculine ones here to talk about. This next one um, is from 2022. This is Spiced Pumpkin and Patchouli from Bath & Body Works. This one uh, has been uh, duped by several vendors. When Sassy Girl Aroma was, uh, was in business, uh, her pumpkin maze is the dupe for this. And then there's another... There's another vendor that has it. I swear there is. And I can't remember who that is right now. But maybe it's only Sassy Girl. I don't know. But this is pumpkin and patchouli. The notes of this are rich pumpkin, warm patchouli, and a touch of cinnamon sugar. So this is for those of you. I'm a patchouli fan. Through and through. Have been for a long time. This is for those of you that want to dip your toe into patchouli but need a little bit of sweetness still. So even though patchouli can also, patchouli can be sweet patchouli, patchouli can be sweetened with vanilla, it can be sweetened with sandalwood, it can be sweetened with anything. But with this you have a little bit of the creaminess of the pumpkin. However, my nose does not pick up on pumpkin. This is just sweet patchouli. And I'm not complaining because this one and Witch's Cauldron, even though they're both patchoulis, this is a little bit more cinnamon, excuse me, a little bit more sweeter to me and vanilla, whereas this one is the cinnamon sugar and you can pick up the cinnamon a little bit in the sweetness of this. It's not, it's not hot cinnamon, it's sugar cinnamon. There, there, it even is on the label, sugar cinnamon. So this one, I like this. I have another candle in my closet of this one, I think. And if I don't, I enjoy it. Next one, it's masculine. This one is from 2020. This is an old one. This is bow ties and bourbon. And I don't know if this has been back. I haven't been looking at candles. But being that this one is four years old, well, almost four years old, it's three and a half years old. It was poured on day 300 of 2020. So this one, I think I got it, honestly, probably candle day. This is a hint of bourbon, fresh bergamot, and a splash of citrus. So this one is masculine, Bur bow ties and bourbon. There was a there was a jewelry company when I lived in Pennsylvania. Uh, there was a floral shop that you know, a little boutique. They have all sorts of vendors in there. There was a a and I still have some of the I still have some of the bracelets. They're huge chunky bracelets, and the the jewelry company was called Bow Ties and Bourbons, and they were gorgeous. They were very clunky large pieces of jewelry, which I tend to wear in my life. Um, I just remember the name. Nothing to do with this candle, of course. This is very masculine. Not not so much masculine as in it's a cologne, but it also, well, yeah, it's it's a little. I should I should I take that back. It's a little cologne-y, but it also is like a freshly showered man. Just kind of like their soaps and their aftershaves and such. That type of freshness. Not necessarily spraying on cologne. But it also can live in the cologne category. I like this. I think this is sometimes um, a great example for me is, is mahogany teakwood. Mahogany teakwood is one of Bath & Body Works strongest fragrances in the masculine department and it's popular. I think it's a little bit too strong for me. This is perfect. This is, you can smell the bergamot. You can smell a little bit of the bourbon, the oakiness, the woodsiness. This is, this is sexy. I really like this. Bad news though, this didn't perform very well. 
I could not smell this in the warmer and I left it in there for a day and a half. Usually by that time you can pick up if it's going to throw or not in your warmer and this one didn't. So would I buy this again? Maybe, but probably not. That's my take on that one. Next, this is one of my all time favorite blends. Definitely my favorite Christmas blend. This is the perfect Christmas. Yes, the perfect Christmas that Sassy Girl Aroma duped in Best Christmas. This is it. This is my baby right here. This is my my favorite Christmas my favorite Christmas blend that Bath and Body Works offers next to Tis the Season. I I've always loved Tis the Season, but this one is simple. This is fresh cut pine, cinnamon sugar, and toasted marshmallow. But this one is is not air freshener pine. It's not pine saw. I have a really hard time even getting a little bit of pine in this. This is like a, a sugared spruce. You have the, the richness of the marshmallow, a little bit of green, just a hint of green, and that cinnamon sugar that's in there. I don't really even get cinnamon from this. It's just it's just a comforting fragrance that reminds you of those those days as a kid, uh, Christmas time, the magic of the season. I have probably 30 candles I've collected over the years of the perfect Christmas. Maybe 20. Maybe, it, a lot. I, I love perfect Christmas. I melt it all year round. I have wax that I melt of it. Yes. I have candles that I warm of it. Yes. I love the scent. I will always have this. And even after I'm all out of candles, at that point, that's an exception that I would go and buy more Perfect Christmas. So I, because I know that's one of my favorites. Next, this is one from uh, last year. This is Raspberry Thumbprint. This one was a new candle last year. I actually got this as a gift. So this one, um, I did not... I, I lit it once, but we know when you put it in a when you put it in a candle crock or a warmer, your sh your um, wicks shift around. So this one was a popular scent last year. These notes are buttery shortbread, rich raspberry jam sprinkled with powdered sugar. So this is they had a candle in the past, a raspberry jam. Uh, wildberry jam was wildberry wildberry jam donuts yeah wildberry jam donuts and this is very similar to wildberry jam donuts but this has a little bit more of a touch of raspberry i liked this but i thought it was very poor performer it was very weak to me it smells fantastic on cold you think oh man if this really throws like a 10 this will have just the best juiciest fruitiest bakery note going but in my home i could not smell this not even a little bit it such was a letdown so that's raspberry thumbprint and my final one is one i've had before but i did i wasn't able to get any more because it didn't come back for a few years this one is from 2022 this is pink petal tea cake I love pink petal tea cake. There are some vendors out there that have this as dupe oil. And um, L3 is one of those. But the pink petal tea cake from L3 is not It's not this. This is creamier. Whereas pink petal tea cake from L3 is a little bit more... Um, I don't want to say floral because it's not quite floral. It's just, it's not as creamy as this. If that makes sense. This is pink petal excuse me, pink rose petals, pound cake, and vanilla glaze. So roses, cake, and vanilla glaze, which is delicious. I love this. That is so nice. It's, it's creamy rose. I love rose. I had a custom in my video yesterday from L3. If you watch that one or if it's in your queue to watch, I have a beautiful rose blend that is just so so lovely and sophisticated i love the smell of a rose this has that it's a if you've kind of smelled um destination wax has a blend a pistachio and rose water cake it isn't a bakery just because there's cake in there uh rebecca has said it's not a it's not really a bakery it's more of an essence of rose with it's, 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 it's a tough blend to describe. I haven't smelled it for years, but that one just comes to mind. I wouldn't say I don't get bakery from this. This is, this is just like a creamy rose. 
we'll leave it at that. Those are my candles. So 20 minutes of candles. I have a couple of soaps here. Sunrise Woods. This was way too sandalwood for me. The notes here are creamy sandalwood, berries, and cashmere. This was this was just like using sandalwood soap. And I left this as a sink because sometimes I hate waste. And sometimes if I don't care for a soap, I usually just give it to my mom. But I knew my mom would hate this, so I used it. And I hate it every time I wash my hands, but I used it. This is a 0 out of a 10 for me. Way too much sandalwood, not enough balance of the other notes in there. And next, Marshmallow Fireside. This one is from a few years ago. This is Toasted Marshmallows, Smoldering Woods, and Fire Roasted Vanilla. Tried and true classic. I finished up my soaps. I don't have any more um, Marshmallow Fireside soap, but this is great if it comes back in the soap line. Those are those two soaps, and now let's go to wax. I have one retail, Yankee. This is Home Sweet Home. This has been around for a thousand years. This is a all year round blend. It, this is this is spicy. It is a spicy blend. You do have to like spicy. I'm pretty sure there's cinnamon in this and some other jazz. I'm not sure, but this is it's I had this downstairs going in the kitchen. It reminds me a little bit of kitchen spice. I have a kitchen spice clam somewhere in in my storage over here. Um, and I, I like that one too. This has been around for a while. It's one of their staple blends. Gotta like spicy. And it's, it's just a, it's a warm fragrance. That's that one. Okay. I quickly separated, um, before I, I filmed into vendors. So I would like to just talk about each individual vendor versus going back and forth between if that's okay with you so there's a couple I have just a a single there's a couple I have just a single of and some I have a couple of but nonetheless I have there's only one vendor scoopable wax milks that I have just one and, and sh sea sugar that I just have one of so let's I'm just gonna take these out here so I do not forget any of these lovely scents. Okay. And then I have a mess of L3 in here too. We'll leave. We'll do L3 last. Okay. I'm going to start with the ones I have the least amount of and then go up from there. So the first one we'll do is the one I have one item of. This is Scoopable Wax Melts, owned by Kathy and Tim, uh, Faley Folly, that uh, <laughs> F, we'll say, uh, from um, Oshkosh, Wisconsin. This was a rose. I made a small ready-to-ship order um, a few weeks back. I didn't do a video for it because I only had a couple of items. I tend to not do a video when I have like three or four items because it would be like a three-minute video and, you know, it's not worth it to me. This was Creamy Rose Elegance. I love rose blends, as I just got done talking about a rose rose candle. This is a velvet aroma of fresh roses enveloped in a rich, creamy undertone. This was a ro like a, a rose shape, and I cut it into four pieces. I actually broke it into four pieces. It wasn't really that thick, and I was able to, you know, manipulate it with just my hands. So this one... It is creamy rose. This is fantastic for bath time, shower time, relaxing time. You know, it's 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 a great rose fragrance. If you like rose, give this one a try when Kathy pours it again. Love rose. Next, I have Sea Sugar. Sea Sugar oh, is owned by uh, um, La Lahila, I think her name is. Oh, I can't remember her last name. Oh, and I don't really even know where Sea Sugar is located in this country. I'm sorry. I try to try to say the owner and the location. But this is Sea Sugar. This was a loaf I had. I finished up. Sea Sugar is kind of hard to get. You have to be invited into the group. And she only lets new people in so many times a year. This was Zucchini Cake. 
This is a fantastic blend. This is zucchini bread, yellow cake, and some sort of frosting. This was so good. It was very fattening smelling, very yummy, rich, creamy, delicious. I might even have this attempted to be duped by some other vendor. So this is good. I like that one. Next, we have Glitterati. Glitterati is owned by Janine Genzano from Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Uh, Janine is going to be, in a few days, releasing her, um, her poll for what's going to be on her next pre-order. Her next pre-order will be April 3rd. I think it's April 3rd. I think it's a Wednesday. First Wednesday in April, I think. I think it's the third. Um, Janine told me that the final scent list will be published on March 27th. So we have a few days to get our lists together. On the 20th, she will post the the um, request list, I should say, or the poll for the scents we can vote on for her next coming upcoming pre-order. So this, I finished up a couple of chunks. This first one is Candy Cane Birthday Cake Vanilla Noel. This one here. And did I like this one? Um, no, I didn't. But I cut it. I, this was a chunk. I can get six pieces out of her chunks. I spread them all out throughout my upstairs at one time. So I didn't really have to, any left to, to, you know, discard or put into my giveaway box. I didn't like this. And I don't know if I like candy cane and I like birthday cake and I like vanilla bean oil, but there was just something with this together that had a very plastic vibe to it. Very plastic and melted plastic at that. So I let this warm for about 40 minutes or so and I just, I couldn't do it. So I took it out of my warmers and threw them away. So this is one that I, I, I like each individual one alone, but I did not care for this configuration. The next one here, however, I really, really did. This one is Raspberry Mousse Yellow Cake and Glazed Donut. I just finished this up. Um, well, these, these are from February. Um, I finished... See, what I did was when I did part one of my empties a few weeks ago, I, t I split these into vendors because if I did this video, it would be probably two and a half hours long. So I had to split it. And um, the vendors I talked about in the first video, I talked about Lavender and Speckles, Dessas, and a couple of other ones I don't remember now. But in the meantime, if I finished up any of those vendors I already talked about in part one, I'm holding them for my next empties video, which will be March. So probably this coming weekend, later this coming week, I will film the March the March part of empties so I can get back into doing every week or every two weeks because I, I got, I got behind. I I'm behind on everything. So I finished up this one this past week, but being that I didn't talk about Glitterati yet, I threw this in February because it doesn't really matter. I'm talking, I'm talking about it anyways. So this one here, however, was fantastic. Her raspberry mousse. It's not, it, I wouldn't say it's not wildberry mousse. It's a different, I've smelled it somewhere before in my life. It is, it's similar to if you've had raspberry cheesecake where you have the raspberry layer on top of the cheesecake and then you have cheesecake if, if, if the bakery made it that way. It's just like a nice or, or a raspberry tort. It's a nice ripe, yummy, juicy raspberry. And you have the creaminess of that yellow cake and that donut. I couldn't really differentiate the cake and the donut from each other, but that raspberry, that raspberry mousse was just damn good. I really liked this one. That's great. And then if you watched my chop and chat, you know, I chopped Lou's Bakery and you know, I used this baby up already. I've been waiting to use this. I have even, I've even started using my shape bag of Lou's Bakery. I adore this son of a bitch. I really, really do. I love this. This is yummy fattening dough and cookies and, and butter and sugar and vanilla. This is an ultimate, ultimate bakery blend. I love this. Love this. One of my favorites. Okay. Let's do super tarts next. Super Tarts is owned by Brandy and Brady Williams of Squim, Washington. Um, there are a lot of us still waiting on our Wax Wednesday orders, which were ordered in the middle of, of November. So take it as it is. I think, I think it's right around four months ago that the Wax Wednesday orders were made. And those haven't been finished yet. So I'm waiting on my last order. I ordered more Fake and Bake. 
even though I ordered a lot in the pre-order that she had last year that had fake and bake, I wanted a little bit more because it's a great blend. And now I wish I didn't order because I don't want to order again from Super Tarts. Just because of everything, how she's running her business now is not, it's not um, for me anymore. Um, does she have good wax? Yes, but it's just not for me anymore. So I'm using, using up what I have and I'm enjoying it and uh, moving on to the next vendor. So the first one I want to talk about, this is a blend that I purchased in my very first Wax Wednesday. Uh, this is Coven. Coven has been, uh, had a name change and I don't know what it is now. But this is Cola, Zucchini Bread, I think Sugar Cookie, and something else I don't remember. But the main notes of this are Cola and Zucchini Bread. This is nice. This really is nice. And I finished this up a few weeks ago. And it's, it, it, cola and zucchini bread, it just, it, and the cookie that's in it, it just, it, it makes this wonderful, delicious, just bakery smelling yumminess that, that makes you want more. I don't quite know how to describe the cola. It just adds like a, a sweet caramelization to everything. And I really liked Coven. That's that one. The next one is Midnight. I actually have some more of this one. This is from Super Tarts, um, excuse me, Wax Wednesday 2022. So we're getting a little, this is from the year before. This is from 2022. So this is Midnight Lavender and Whipped Cream. So Midnight Lavender, I, th I think it might be a Lush blend. I'm not sure. I can't remember right now. But Midnight Lavender is an Herbal Lavender and Whipped Cream. So this one... I like this. It is, it's lavender. It really is just lavender. So there really isn't much to talk about that one. This next one is Lemon Bakery Bars. This was a BAM bag. Uh, these are her half BAM bags. And this is her BAM bag. This was also known previously as Nova Prime. This is delicious. Uh, this is Bakery Shop Sweet Lemon Meringue and Blackberry Cream. So this, I don't do a lot of blackberry blends just because sometimes the blackberry can pull Robitussin cough syrup to me. Um, this does not because it has that beautiful, rich bakery shop. It has the lemon meringue in there, the sweet cream of the lemon meringue and the, and the blackberry cream. I don't know what blackberry cream is. I've never seen it before other than super tarts. But I like this blend. I have another bag of this right in my storage. I'm pointing down like you can see it. I have another bag of this in my storage. But I wanted to use this up. Um, this was a BAM bag I think I bought last year or the year before. And I wanted to work on this and use this up. So then I have another bag in my collection. Um, the, the, her labels change to be more vertical. These are her horizontal labels. So I know it's newer because it's the vertical in the middle of the bag. I ordered the same time I ordered my fake and bake last year. Uh, in the middle of the year. I like this. So this is a good juicy lemon blackberry blend. So that's that one. Then I have some clams of hers I finished up here. This first one is June Dessert. I purchased this back in July of 22. This one is Strawberry Zucchini Bread and Buttercream. Not much to it. Ooh. Each vendor, and what I've noticed over time, why I started using these clams up is her clams back here are getting very soft. They don't, they're not holding the, the, um, the hard, plastic texture they're getting kind of soft so when I was organizing where I have this had the store and I saw that I'm like oh they're starting to warp I better use these up I have some more in my next chunk to start using but this is strawberry zucchini bread I liked this every vendor has some sort of variation of strawberry zucchini bread this is good this used to be called something else I don't know what that is though <laughs> next is earthwise earthwise is the old name um, maybe, maybe this is still June dessert. I don't know, but Earthwise, um, used to be called Middle Earth. I do remember that Earthwise. This is a very unique, sophisticated, fantastic fragrance. This is probably my second favorite fragrance from Super Tarts after Fake and Bake. Um, and yes, I've previously said I like Spread the Love. Spread the Love is delicious too. I love it, but Earthwise, there's just something to this. 
Uh, last year, I did make some purchases from Super Tarts. I have Middle Earth and Palisanto. I have some more Middle Earth. I had a friend send me some Middle Earth. So I have a lot of it now. And it's something where you just need a little bit of it because it throws. The notes in Middle Earth are dirt. I know. Give me all the dirt. But dirt, rosemary, and mint. And this is a very unique blend. I've thought about attempting to have this duped uh, by another vendor, but I'm just nervous that the dirt, and rosemary, and mint combination just isn't going to be right, and it's going to smell dirty. This does not smell dirty. This is, it's intoxicating. When this hits the heat, the rosemary just blossoms, and that mint just blossoms. It is, it's kind of, it gets you in the mood to want to garden and want to dig your hands down in our earth and just just feel the coolness of the soil at least for me it does and i love this this is this lasts all day too this is a beautiful performer for as much frustration as i have with super tarts and the business model now i do have to compliment brandy on this blend this is phenomenal really good next is poser spa this is one that I recently tried uh, to duplicate a form of it uh, from L3 in my customs, if you watched that yesterday. This is Cucumber Mint, Seaside, and Spearmint. So I don't quite know what Seaside is, but this does have a little bit of just a hint of, I mean, I can really smell the cucumber. The cucumber is there. It's creamy. I can smell a little bit of the spearmint, not a whole ton, but... I get a freshness. It's not salty sea air. I wouldn't even say it's it's oceanic. It's just a like maybe sea salt. It's just a little bit of freshness, a little bit of spa in here. I really liked this one. I melted this because I wanted to see do I really want to have do I want to have this duped because I love cucumber. Cucumber is hard to find. It's not used very much. I love it. I love it to relax. It's right up there next to lavender. I really liked this one. And finally, the last one from Super Tarts I have is Smashed Strawberry. And I bought this back in July of 22. Smashed Strawberry. This is strawberry jam, cornbread, and toasted marshmallow. So June dessert was strawberry and zucchini bread and mallow. This is strawberry cornbread and mallow. So Brandy's cornbread is, is authentic cornbread. It is earthy it's grainy it has texture you, you can just i know that's weird you can't smell texture but i can smell structure maybe that's a better word i can smell structure in here like this is a good cornbread not all cornbreads are created equal but this is damn good really 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 good i love this love this love this so smash strawberry okay next let's do Knowles farm Knowles Farm, Travis and Company, uh, has shipped the pre-order already, the Taylor Swift-inspired pre-order, um, in the mail to a lot of us. He's early. Uh, this first one, these are, um, this was a sample I got, Biltmore. This one, I, I'm pretty sure this was in the Taylor Swift pre-order. I don't remember the name of it, but these notes and the notes that that scent was are the same. So I, I had a sample of this and I melted this and I wanted to see that I need to buy this again. And it didn't make the cut because I wanted to really try his Blackberry Beach Nights. And I didn't want to make a huge order. I only think I ordered four bags from the pre-order. I just, I wanted to try a couple of them. And I didn't buy any more Biltmore, but, but this is nice. It's a creamy, nice, woodsy, somewhat masculine scent. Uh, Biltmore, of course, is the Biltmore house from... Um, uh, what state is it in? North Carolina, I think. If you've ever seen Richie Rich with Macaulay Culkin in the 90s, 94, I think, that house he lives in, that's the Biltmore Estate. And so that is, that's that. And these last two are from the holiday pre-order from last year. These were poured in November. This first one is Tis the Season. Um, uh, Travis Knowles owns, uh, Knowles Farm Scents. I'm sorry. Sorry, I forgot to say that. Uh, this is green tart, juicy apple, cranberry, and cinnamon vanilla. So what I liked about this one is it's this is not just this is not just another 
cranberry apple scent because you know cranberry and apple relish cranberry marmalade cranberry relish apple cranberry they all have kind of been done and we've smelled them throughout the holiday seasons for years because a lot of people you know they complement each other very well and i liked that he added a little bit of the of the green apple to it versus a sweet apple because i like the tartness oh sorry guys I'm shifting around here. I'm getting too old to sit on the floor, I think. <laughs> um, did not mean the bump. I'm sorry. I like I like the tart apple over the over the sweet apple. And I, I find that it, it holds up a little bit more in terms of blending, blending it with other things. You can blend something tart like cranberry very well with something with pomegranate. I've even had cranberry and blueberry. You can blend it with apple. You can blend it with orange, cinnamon, and you can still, it still keeps that integrity. It's, it's, it's strong. So I like that the green apple, you could smell the layers, the apple layer, the cranberry layer, the vanilla label layer, and the cinnamon. Yeah, cinnamon. I liked this one. This was nice, crisp, and clean. I would, I would buy that again. Uh, this next one here is Holiday Truffle. Holiday Truffle. This one was a wild card for me because I'm not necessarily in love with white chocolate wax. Um, it doesn't smell like chocolate to me. It's just, it, it can be kind of plasticky. However, this was a welcome surprise because what this kind of smells like to me, this might even be the Godiva white chocolate raspberry truffle oil or yeah truffle oil i've had that before and this was very 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 similar i wonder if this is the godiva white chocolate truffle oil i wonder if that's what it is because this is raspberry white chocolate pecan butter brown sugar vanilla and toffee so that if you have ever smelled godiva white chocolate raspberry this is very very similar to that so if you like that you would probably like that this one if it ever comes back okay Let's do Teddy Bees next. Teddy Bees is owned by Tiffany Smith from Houston, Texas. She's working hard on our pre-orders. Um, Facebook, for whatever reason, is not showing me any of Tiffany's updates from Teddy Bees. So if she has posted a progress, uh, a progress post, I haven't seen it. So I don't know what's happening in terms of the pre-order, but I know she's working on it. So I finished up quite a few blends this first one is from the game of thrones line this is god's woods a game of thrones is going to be watched in our home very shortly we have season seven of soa to finish and a couple of other things and then we're gonna dive in and start game of thrones i know hell is frozen over we're gonna watch it so god's woods is palo santo birchwood pine and vanilla balsam so a lot of Tiffany's, in fact, I think most of, if not all, of her Game of Thrones blends are Palo Santo uh, based. And I have tried most, most of the ones that she's offered. I try, but I'm finding they aren't all my favorite. There's, they aren't bad, but they're just not my favorite. I have other Palo Santos out there that I like. That being said, I just maybe haven't found the right one because she has a lot of her Game of Thrones line. And I've only, I've had the North, which I'm, I've only melted once, but I'm working on it. There's the, there's the dragon one, House of the Dragon, I think. And there's, um, oh, well, Jon Snow. I love Jon Snow. Jon Snow's Palo Santo Mint laundry and vanilla which is phenomenal i do like that one so i think it's just the the other notes in addition to the palo santo that just i haven't found the best one yet so god's woods i i liked this one because you have the integrity of the palo santo there but it's got two forms of pine it has vanilla balsam and regular pine and then it's got a little bit of birch in it so this is a very woodsy palo santo i liked this i have been melting a lot of my teddy bees non-bakery down in my open concept because then i really get a i really get a great idea of how does that baby perform because I can melt certain things upstairs in my home where I am right now and downstairs. And believe it or not, sometimes they perform a little bit differently. The drafts, the amount of walls it has to go through, the air flows, all sorts of stuff. I know when I can smell a blend I have downstairs when I'm upstairs, 
That's how I know it's a good one. I could smell this one upstairs. So this is a good one to me, God's Woods. So I'm looking forward and being optimistic that some, so one of these days I will find that, yes, I have found it. This is my Game of Thrones blend I love. So not Jon Snow. Jon Snow is a different category because I smell the mint and the creamy and the just uniqueness of Jon Snow. So that's that one. This next one is The Night Before Christmas. Now this one is a laundry blend. This one is flannel sheets warm cashmere and vanilla blended with Christmas trees. So we've got your ooey gooey yummy Christmas pajamas. Uh, my husband is one of the few that will not wear matching pajamas. So those of you that are Facebook friends with me, you'll never see a picture of that man with matching jammies. So <laughs> it's not gonna, it's not in our house. I try every year and I'm shut down every year. But if Poppy could tolerate wearing pajamas, you might see mama and Poppy. But we'll see. She she hates she hates pajamas. Um, most cats don't like to be dressed up, especially my cat. She acts like she's in a straight jacket, like she can't move anymore. So this one here, I like this one. This has just a a, a light creamy bake uh, bakery. Jeez, light creamy laundry aspect to this. Blended with a little bit of a little bit of pine in there, so you have a little bit of Christmas tree playing in the background, and then I I do smell the cashmere. Um, Tiffany is not only is she great, she's great at everything, but she really excels in my opinion with her cashmere blends. So you have the the coziness, the curl up in a blanket with a warm cup of cocoa or tea or coffee or whatever you're drinking, do a little bit of a hot toddy uh, on those on those cold winter evenings, that comfort of that cashmere. So you have your jammies and you have your Christmas tree and a little bit of laundry. So this is, I like this one. Next, this is a popular one. This is Cozy Cookie Cake and Balsam. This one is Vanilla Balsam Fraser Fur blended with our Cozy Cookie Cake, which is warm iced white cake, beach treats, marshmallow fireside and signature sugar cookie. So I've had Cozy Cookie Cake by itself, and I like it. It is just creamy beach nights to me with a, a little bit of cookie, not too much. I personally prefer in the beach night cookie department, I like Surfside Sweet Shop a little bit better. But for this purpose here, it's Cozy Cookie Cake with a little bit of balsam. I had a really tough time picking up the balsam in this blend. This one was just Cozy Cookie Cake with a little something but my brain didn't didn't compute it as pine that being said i would buy this again because this this is a great blend i mean cozy cookie cake you can't go wrong with next we have tiff's favorite lavender this i got in a round robin box i believe this is lavender sweet marshmallow and coconut milk lavender or coconut milk is a single oil i don't know if tiffany hand blends these two together or if she uses a single oil and adds vanilla to it um excuse me marshmallow to it i'm not sure but anytime i see vanilla coconut man i've got so many thoughts going through my head right now anytime i see lavender coconut milk i usually grab it because that was one of my very first scents i smelled in vendor wax way back three years ago. And zucchini bread was the blend that really got my attention in terms of, wow, what is this stuff? But lavender and coconut milk was the first blend that really captured my heart in terms of how beautiful it is, how simple it is, just how, how calming and peaceful. I love coconut. Um, I love lavender and coconut milk. It is, it's so, it's so good. I love this. And Tiff has actually, um, Tiffany's favorite lavender is blended with cakes. It's it, this, there's a whole line, but this is the original blend. So this I would always buy this whenever it's available. I try to buy this. She's had Tiff's favorite lavender with milk and cookies. She's had it with um, uh, several things. I, I mean, I, I can I can see them on in my in my tote, but I can't remember the names. If you know what I mean? Uh, I, she has a whole line with this stuff, so I never hesitate to buy anything that has Tiff's favorite lavender. Next, we have Christmas trees and cream. This one was the this pre-order was from um, 
her her winter pre-order well her her last pre-order of 2023 this was the number one selling blend she actually sold out of this blend believe it or not we bought the hell out of this this is fresh pine <laughs> vanilla waffle cone and buttercream this one this one to me i i had it alone before and I usually have it blended, I usually have the version blended with um, uh, candy cane, which frankly, I think that, I think it needs something because this one is just, it's just buttercream with a little bit of pine. This is, in my opinion, best used as a blender because it, it there really isn't much to it to make it be an exceptional blend to use on its own, unless you don't really want a lot of overpowering anything. I think this goes perfect with that with the crushed candy cane, which is how I prefer this. Um, I know she offered them separate this past time, you know, when this pre-order was being ordered, when this when we were ordering from this. So we could blend it on our own. I didn't do that. I just grabbed this and I, I bought a tub of it also because I'm gonna blend it with other things. This this is a it's a good buttercream. It's just not enough for me in my home. So that's Teddy B's. Next, let's do Sassy Girl Aroma. Sassy Girl Aroma, owned by Julie Jeb Gebchek from Toma, Wisconsin. Uh, we all know what's happening with Julie and her business. Uh, hopefully everything is um, being sorted out and situated with Julie, and she's starting to heal as much as she can. Um, this first one here is zucchini bread. Just plain zucchini bread. Julie has one of my favorite zucchini bread oils that's out there in the wax community. This is described as a piping hot quick bread bursting with notes of freshly grated zucchini and warm spices. And speaking of Sassy Girl Aroma, I am going to do my entire collection video for Sassy Girl Aroma. Um, I, was, I had planned to do it a few weeks ago then I had, I was ill for a day or so and it messed up that whole week. And then I just, I, it's going to be a long video and I really just haven't had the time to sit down and think about how, how in depth do I want to go with each scent? Do I just want to do a, here I have this one and here I have this one, or do I really want to go in and describe each scent? I have a lot of Sassy Girl. And if you know my know my style of video, I'm a little in depth with my descriptions. And I just, I really want to make it be a good video. And I'm still working out on my side what I want to do. But it's coming this week. I'm going to do it this week. I have it, I have all of the wax pulled. Everything is isolated into one section. I've got it all. I just need to do the video. So it's coming, I promise. And then I'll I'll share it, of course. You know, I'll post it on my channel and I'll share it in the Sassy Girl Aroma group. Um, that's coming. So this is good, zucchini bread. I mean, this is a great oil. I don't know if this is a custom-made oil for her or if this is a single oil. But Julie has great zucchini bread. If you're a zucchini bread, bread blend lover, um, anything with zucchini bread, I don't hesitate to buy. Love that one. Next, this is the this is the blend of Sassy Girls that really made me fall in love with Sassy Girl. This is strawberry cupcakes. I when I when I first got into Fender Wax, I went to the deep dive down that damn rabbit hole right away. And I visited the stash pages because I was learning, you know, what are pre-orders and how long do they take and all sorts of things. And when I first joined Sassy Girls group, she was having a pre-order and it was right at the tail end. It was, it was when she had them open for a week or so and the tat was longer. So a lot of blends were sold out. I think I, I think it closed on a Sunday and I think I ordered on a Saturday. But in the meantime, I checked out these stash groups and somebody was selling strawberry cupcakes. And I, when I got it and I melted it, I had it in my kitchen, open concept area. And I was downstairs in the basement, in the back part of our basement. And I could smell that from, up, from downstairs. And I told my husband, that is so strong. Oh, just something, just something clicked in me, you know? it's it's when you hear a song 
that really touches you, touches your soul, connects with you. It, it just, it just connected with me. Like I had never had performance like that before. So strawberry cupcakes, this is what got me into Sassy Girl Aroma. And I still buy this one. This is strawberry vanilla cupcake and buttercream frosting. I don't know if this is a single oil or a custom made oil. I, I, I don't know. Don't really care, frankly. Just know that when she's back, whenever that is, whether it's this year, next year, five years from now, whenever, try this one if you haven't. This is phenomenal. Yummy. This next one is strainer. Strainer is um, delicious too. Uh, caramel pretzels, ice cream scoop bread, raspberry brulee, sugar cookie dough, and zucchini bread. So this is another one of those yummy, everything but the kitchen sink, bakery phenomenons. I, I love this blend too. You get the perfect balance of pretzel with a little bit of raspberry, a little bit of zucchini bread, a little bit of ice cream scoop bread, which is unique, but it's just, this is so good. I love this. I love strainer. It has that pretzel integrity to it too. So if you do like pretzel and you're able to, you know, if you have this in your stash right now, give it a try if you haven't tried it or if you find it in D-Stash or what. Strainer is a good pretzel blend. It's not salty pretzel or yeasty. It's kind of a great mix in between. But remember, we've got other oils in there. So it kind of just, it, it leaves that pretzels, pret pretzels unique. So it just, I, I love that one. Next, this is one that... Uh, was on the final pre-order uh, before everything happened. This is Earl and me. And I'm sad that I, I had a, this was a loaf and I had partially used this loaf and I, uh, I had, uh, several of us had requested Earl and me for a couple of times. And then this, the pre-order that was live before everything happened, Earl and me was on it. So I saw that and then I used this up like within a couple of days. I only had a little bit left and I'm sad I did because now I don't have any, I don't have any more left. This is uh, blueberry cornbread muffins and vanilla bean Noel. Uh, I, I love this. I mean, I love blueberry and cornbread. I love blueberry bakery. My husband is a huge blueberry bakery person. I've said that a thousand times. And I, I will say that because, you know, if you have a partner, you have to sometimes melt what they like. And it just so happens that this is a blend that he comments every time I had it on. It As soon as it hits the heat, it just... Julie's wax is just like, pow. It's kind of like you're throwing down the, the, little, the little pop... The little pop... Um, what do they call the, the, the poppers at the fireworks where you throw them down on the ground and, and just that, just that impact makes them poo, the, the, the little white things. It's just kind of like you put her wax down into the heat and just immediately it throws just immediately. That's what this was like. You put this in the warmer and you're just hit in the nose with that blueberry. So I hope this one comes back when she's able to come back and able to start adding to her lineup. This next one is Sweet Nights. This is a lavender blend. Uh, this is lavender and beach nights. A sweet lavender at that. I liked this. This was, um, it, it's mostly beach nights to me. I had a hard time sometimes picking up on the lavender. But when I had this in my bathrooms, in the smaller space, if I really got up onto it and just thought about what I'm smelling, I could smell a little bit of the lavender. In my larger space, it was different because it just, I guess the molecules are flying around a little bit differently. I don't know. It, I'm just, I'm speculating. But I could smell the lavender a little bit differently. It, it's, it's, it's funny, but I like, I liked this. It is just, it's just a nice, sweet Beach Nights blend. And finally, we have Almond Croissant. This is one I have multiples of. Uh, this is a delicious flaky croissant filled with almond cream topped off with toasted sliced almonds and powdered sugar. This one isn't the best performer. It's a little weak in my opinion, but it's still good. It's still good enough that it can be blended with something else. Like even though this is almond cream, it's not amaretto. It, amaretto is much stronger than almond cream. This is just a little grace 
of almond. So you could blend this with strawberry, with blueberry, with lemon. I mean, th this could be blended. And so my other brittles I have, I'm going to blend and experiment around. Um, this is almond croissant. So I find just like I think Christmas trees and cream from TB's is uh, better as a blender. My opinion is I think this one is too. And that's all my sassy girl. So next, let's do second and spruce. Second and Spruce is owned by Erica and Slade Kane from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. She is also working on her pre-order, her friends inspired the one pre-order uh, that was on sale the middle, uh, was it the middle of February, beginning of February, end of February, somewhere around <laughs> middle of February, I think. She's working on that and I can't wait to get all of those blends that I ordered. I know I ordered way too much, but when a vendor only opens a few times a year, you kind of have to take advantage of it. So this first one I want to talk about is one I've yapped about a lot. Not only on my channel, but in the Facebook group. This is Latte Da. I have this in mini loaves. I ordered it in my customs order when I did the one with, with her last year. This has been poured several times. I never hesitate to recommend this to anybody. And I never hesitate to buy this. This is espresso, brown sugar, pecans, pound cake, and zucchini bread. This is so, oh, this is so good. It is the perfect bakery. It's the perfect, perfect bakery um, coffee that I've had. The espresso in here is nice and rich, but you have that, 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 build up of bakery of the zucchini bread, the pound cake, the pecans, just this is superb in my opinion. I can't, I cannot express the love to you enough of how much I love Latte Da. And I, I would blend this with anything really, blend this with any bakery. I would blend this with more coffee. I would blend this to hell and back really. I love, I love this blend so, so much. Another one that I adore is Milk and Cookies. Now, this one has been blended multiple ways. She's had it at Christmas time with peppermint. She had it with eggnog. She's had this with other ones I'm not even remembering. This is a simple blend, but it's phenomenal. This is sugar cookie, sugar cookie dough, buttercream, sweet milk, and a little extra sugar. This is similar to milk and cookies from Teddy Bee's, but this one is creamier. If I had to describe a lot of Erica's bakery in a generalized scope, I would say her, her bakery blends are very creamy. So if you like creamy bakery and rich bakery, Second and Spruce bakeries are ones I would recommend. If you haven't had an opportunity to order from Second and Spruce yet, jump in her Facebook group, a lot of us post frequently, talk about blends, and then, of course, when our orders come in, you can see everybody's hauls. And the bakery, I love her bakeries. And she she's also very good at other non-bakery ones, too, and lavenders and such. But this one, Milk and Cookies, is, it's rich, it's creamy, it's, it's luscious. The sugar milk, don't let that scare you. It's just there for a, a little bit of extra sweetness. Milk and Cookies is delicious, in my opinion. Next, this is Twisted. This is one that I got last year. This is pretzel, caramel, sugar cookie dough, almond cream, and vanilla butter fudge. This is a very creamy pretzel blend. Creamy. Why I'm creamy, creamy, creamy. Everything, everything is rich and creamy and luscious. And I love that because it just, it, it just, oh, it's so, it's so intoxicating uh, sometimes. What I like about this one is you can you can smell the pretzel, but the pretzel, I don't want to say the pretzel's in the background, but it's not pow in your nose pretzel. It has the lusciousness of the cookie. It has the cream to it. It has the, uh, yeah, vanilla butter fudge. It's got just a drizzle of caramel. I wouldn't say this is a caramel blend by any means. It's sometimes caramel is a little scary, scary for noses. I liked this one. I actually have another version of this. I got this in a tub. I didn't think I ever had Twisted, so I ordered it, but I found this in my stash. So Twisted is uh, another one that's delicious. This next one here is Jam and Birthday Cake. This is one of her raspberry jam blends. Uh, Erica has quickly been recognized in the community for her amazing raspberry jam oil. And with good with and with 
you know, with good measure too. It's a fantastic equivalent to vintage chic scent raspberry. I've said that before. I'm not afraid to say it. It's the same oil, in my opinion, as Kirby uses. This is Jammin'. Jammin' is raspberry jam and butter toast. That's Jammin'. So anytime you see Jammin', that is that blend. And then the cake is birthday cake. Now, Erica's raspberry jam is very dominant. It's so good, though. I can still smell it in the bag. It is it, it it's very strong very very strong i have a a scent shop cup i got a scent shop cup i got as a sampler it's not a sampler a sample of just her raspberry jam and i have it downstairs in my downstairs melting tote and i melted it this week and i can smell that up here her raspberry jam is bar none it's phenomenal and blended with this it's just cake with raspberry my husband's birthday is tomorrow. He's he's downstairs and he he never watches my videos. He supports my channel, loves that I do these videos. He knows how much I love making this content for you guys. And if I want him to really watch a video or or something with me on my channel, he will. But he doesn't watch this. So I don't care if I'm saying this. His birthday is tomorrow and I ordered him his cake. And I ordered uh, raspberry filling. I always order raspberry filling. I wanted to order white cake with raspberry filling this year. But I thought about chocolate with raspberry because there's just something with chocolate and raspberry. So I have the bakery I wanted to use. Um, I forgot to order his cake until this morning. I know I'm horrible. I did everything except that. But I called and there was nobody in the bakery today. The person that it's Sunday. Sometimes they don't have a full staff, so I couldn't go to where I wanted to go. And the place, the other bakery had to use, I'm not in love with their buttercream frosting, so I had to get whipped, which isn't bad. It's a lighter if you don't like a ton of sweet. And sometimes buttercream can be, it, it, I'm talking about real life cake, of course. Buttercream can be a little bit too sugary. Don't get me wrong, sometimes it's phenomenal, but I prefer the bakery that I couldn't get buttercream over the one that I had to use. So I opted for whipped with chocolate cake and raspberry filling. So that's going to be in our tummies tomorrow evening. I can't wait. And uh, dinner tomorrow. Um, tonight I am making chicken and noodles in the crock pot. Tomorrow we're doing uh, green chili cheeseburgers, macaroni and cheese, and french fries. That's his birthday dinner at home. And then Wednesday, I don't know why he picked Wednesday. But Wednesday, we're going to Japanese Steakhouse. That's his official birthday dinner. Uh, so I started talking about raspberry jam because of this blend right here. And I just had to share with you. I know a lot of you know Marty through uh, my my channel. I talk about him a lot on here. And I told him that he has to make an appearance sometime in this in in this year, whether it's a short or it's a little video or not, I want him to, I don't know why he's shy. He's not a shy person in that regard, but he, uh, he will make an appearance at some point. So, um, jam and birthday cake. If you, if you like raspberry jam or raspberry preserves, I really like this one. I know raspberry is tough for some noses because it has that floral uh, note to it. And raspberry is a naturally floral berry. It's just, it is what it is. It's just what nature wanted it to be. It's going to translate over a little bit into wax. But if you've already tried Vintage Chic Scents Raspberry, then you would like this one. Just take my word for it. And finally, this is one from the Friends line. This is one I bought last year. This is Princess Consuela Banana Hammock, Miss Phoebe. Princess Consuela Banana Hammock. I didn't buy this blend again because I, I already had it, and it's okay to me. This is not my favorite banana blend. Uh, this is banana nut bread, zucchini bread, cinnamon sugar donuts, and sugar cookie. I would describe this as an extremely creamy, there's that adjective again, extremely creamy banana blend. And I love banana nut bread. I love it to eat it. I love it to bake it. I love it to melt it. This here, it was a little bit too creamy for me. I wanted a little bit more banana to it. That being said, if you aren't crazy in love with banana, then you would like this because yes, the banana is there. 
And yes, you can smell the banana, but it's very, very creamy. It's almost, it's almost, I don't want to say it's diluted because it's not, but it's, it's not as strong as some other banana blends. Okay, two vendors left. This next one is Rose Girls. Rose Girls, we have Rose Girls on L3 left. Okay, Rose Girls is owned by Jenny Oaks from Oshkosh, Wisconsin. I think she's working on a pre-order. I looked and I made a cart, but I did not, I did not check out. So, bravo, Ashley. <laughs> I didn't, even though I wanted to. Um, See, so the thing is, is I have Rose Girls muted on Facebook, but I don't on Instagram. So that's how I know when there's a pre-order happening. Um, I, I, I still have a lot of Rose Girls. I do, but I, my, my, my stash is dwindling down because I finished quite a bit here, but I also still have quite a bit. Uh, I went down the Rose, the Rose Girls rabbit hole badly and I ordered a crap ton. So I had to work my way through it. And so maybe later this year, if she does her Mario Melters again later this year, maybe by that time I'll feel comfortable unmuting Rose Girls. And let's be honest, uh, not sure what's happening with Sassy Girl. And if she's back later this year, great. If she's not back for a couple of years, that's fine too. I don't have that to purchase. And I that was a big um, purchase I made uh, of Sassy Girl's Wax. And L3 closing in September, you know, that's going to be going away. And then the other vendors that I do support are only open a few times a year. So um, Rose Girls might be one I have to, you know, welcome back with open arms. So we'll see. Um, in that in that regard, I still do love my Rose Girls. This first one is Apple Cider Cookie Dough Bread. This was one I I cheated and I made a small purchase. I, I, I think earlier this year, I think. I was having a rough day and <laughs> I made a Rose Girls purchase. I know, but it happens. Uh, I only bought blends. I'll tell you what it was. I saw on Instagram. And my favorite, favorite, favorite cookie blender blend of hers, it used to be Cookie, cookie Land, but now it's uh, Monster Cookie Fluff Puffs. Oh, that's so damn good. I, lo I love that. And she had Monster Cookie Fluff Puffs. So it was a ready to ship. So I went on and I bought several bags of that because I do blend that around with things. And I ordered a couple of bags of this. And I flew through this bag. This is apple cider donuts, baked zucchini bread, and sugar cookie dough. And I love L3 zucchini bread. I love sassy zucchini bread. And I especially love Rose Girls. And it's great because Jenny's mom, Kathy, Skippable Wax Melts, uses the same oil as Jenny does for her zucchini bread. So when I bought that rose earlier, you know, a month ago or so, is when I bought... So several scoops of her baked zucchini bread, because zucchini bread, if you like it, you know, you can blend it with anything, earthy, bakery, fruity, coffee, whatnot. And it's so versatile. I mean, if I had to pick one oil to melt the rest of my days, it would be zucchini bread because you can just blend it with anything. And I'm, I'm sorry that some of you don't like zucchini bread. You know, I know the corn chip feet situation. I'm so sorry that your nose pulls that. I... I, I can't relate. I can't relate to that. But a lot of you like mango and grapefruit. And I think mango smells like B.O. Like straight B.O. And I, I can't. And I can't do papaya. I think papaya smells like vomit. So there we go. That's the, that's the exchange. So um, this is so good. The apple. Apple. This is not Mac apple. I'm finding Mac apple kind of nauseates me a little bit. Um, I've just had a lot of Mac Apple in my in my days, and I'm a little tired of it right now. And I'm feeling that same way about Caramel Apple and Cider Lane. I blended so many things with Caramel Apple and Cider Lane, I, I'm tired of it right now. So I'm on hiatus for a lot of apple stuff, except green apple. Green apple is a little bit different. However, apple cider donuts, it's got a little bit, a little bit of bakery-esque bakery quality to it. Then you blend it with your uh, zucchini bread and your sugar cookie dough. This is creamy, apple fattening deliciousness. I loved this. I blew through this bag in a week. I had this all downstairs. I loved that one. 
Next is Big Witch Energy. <laughs> this was back at Halloween time. Uh, this is Espresso and a Secret Witch's Brew. My nose picks up Cookie Land. There's got to be Cookie Land in here somewhere because Cookie Land is um, toffee butterscotch pretzels. Oh, criminy. I can't. I, uh, toffee butterscotch pretzels, fun fitty cake, and cookies. That's what Cookie Land is. And I smell Cookie Land in here. Um, this is those secret blends, kind of like uh, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice is a secret fruity blend. Uh, this is espresso coffee with Cookie Land. That's what I'm going with. Love this. I bought multiple bags of this because I fell in love with it. So good. This next one is Absolute Gingerbread Eggnog. I bought this one back in October. This is Absolute Coffee, Gingerbread, and Eggnog. This one I, I wanted to try. I haven't had coffee and eggnog and gingerbread before together, and I wanted to try this. Um, she has a spicy gingerbread. So this is definitely spiced gingerbread, and the coffee didn't cut much of the spice. In fact, I, I think it enhanced it a little bit because this is kind of when this once this got warming, you have a little bit of the little bit of the creaminess of the eggnog, but this is mostly just spicy, spicy gingerbread. And don't get me wrong. I love a good, authentic, strong gingerbread. This was a little bit too much spice for me. But if I had to melt this again, I would. It just, I, I think I would blend it with something to cut that a little bit. Next is just regular baked zucchini bread. Love it. This is just creamy, rich bakery blender, good with anything. We talked about that already. Opposite of keto, another one of my top blends of uh, Jenny's. This is cream cheese frosting, sugar cookie dough, pretzels, waffle cone, and cookies. Um, I actually uh, had L3 uh, try to dupe this as close as they can get uh, in my last batch of customs, and I'm waiting for it to cure because I think that puppy's going to be a masterpiece. It's not quite this on cold, but I didn't want it to quite be just the same. I wanted to have their take on it, but I love Opposite Aikido. It's great standalone, but it's also great blended because it has a lot of, of, of neutral bakery to it. It's got a lot of vanilla, a lot of cream so you can blend this very beautifully next is circus concession this one's two years old almost 822 circus concession this is yummy this is macintosh madness ooey gooey caramel cotton candy frosting and funnel cake so this is the circus blends you know a lot of us like those circus blends Several vendors have done it. A lot, most of them, in fact, if not all of them, have done some sort of a circus blend. I really like Jenny's, and Kathy uses the same oil too, so that's a great one. This is Circus, circus Concession. I most recently saw this from Kathy's company blended with three cakes. That is her yellow cake, cupcake to Tiffany's, and birthday cake. That's three cakes. So if you like, three cakes and you like circus concession watch kathy's uh her next three cakes large pre-order will be in june she's doing Jul january and june for three cakes so just watch for this one and circus concession is great you get you get all four of those notes just seamlessly blended together next is my love monster cookie fluff puffs this is just monster cookie and marshmallow smoothie marshmallow smoothie i think is just marshmallow cream my my it's, it's very neutral it's just sweetness but there's just something buttery there's something creamy and comforting about this great love this next is warp zone warp zone is from the mario melter uh, mario inspired melter line warp zone is basically monster cookie fluff puffs with peppermint there's one more note in here of vanilla crunch donuts which you know frankly frankly just gives a bakery vanilla vibe to it uh, i like this i really do I have a couple more bags of this i bought in eleven twenty two. last time i bought mario melters I didn't buy them last year. I was very, very good. Very, very good. You know why? Because Boo's Spooky Castle wasn't offered, and that was the one I wanted the most. So I didn't buy anything. Uh, Warp Zone. I like this one. 
And then last is another one from the Mario line. This is Star of Wonder, Star of Night. This one wasn't offered last year either. This is Strawberry Euphoria and Serendipity. Serendipity is cherry, coconut, and creamy vanilla. Serendipity is an OG scent. You either like it or you don't. I love cherry and I like Serendipity. I really like it blended with strawberry. So, so, so good. Okay, next, L3. This is the last vendor long video like I said excuse me L3 is owned by Jennifer Westing from Junction City Oregon um, congratulations to you guys if you ordered pies from P pie day I know there were quite a few that sold out but she offered like 105 different pie blends like holy shit Jen is superwoman and we tell her that all the time um, she is trying really hard to make this these last stretch of months really good for us. Uh, she has some fun things planned coming up, and she's just, you know, she's trying to make it the best that she can be for this, this last hurrahs, these last hurrahs. So this first one is a clam. I have a good, I, I shouldn't say I have a good bit of clams. I have some clams downstairs in my extra storage from L3. I am going to be going down into my storage and moving some things around, bringing some things up here because I'm going to put a lot of my um, stuff I'm stocking up on uh, down there. And then as I use things up here, I move stuff, you know, just like we all do, rotate things. Uh, I am going to be bringing up some of my clams because these are easy to use. You know, I put one, one piece in each. And if I use this downstairs, I have three warmers so I can get two separate melt sessions out of a clam and then we're done. So this is zucchini bread. This is, like I said earlier, one of my favorite zucchini breads, zucchini bread blends. It's the perfect balance, in my opinion, of spice and cream. Uh, that zucchini bread integrity is there. This blends like a dream. Oh, I love that. Y'all know that if you watch me. Uh, next is, this was a custom of mine uh, from last year, I think. This is called Broke the Scale. <laughs> Broke the Scale. Uh, this is strawberry cheesecake, sweet 16, and zucchini bread. Sweet 16 is a very fattening, heavy, rich bakery blend. I don't know exactly what's all in it, but it's a heavy, heavy bakery blend. Zucchini bread, of course, is zucchini bread and strawberry cheesecake. I don't get too much cheesecake from this, just strawberry, which is quite all right with me. I love me a good strawberry bakery. This fits the bill. This is broke the scale. Next is Dreamweaver. Dreamweaver has quickly become a favorite in my home. This is lavender cream, sugar cookie dough, and bread. So this is lavender cream is a single oil, I believe. And of course, it's lavender. And I, I looked it up. It, there's something else in it. I don't remember what it is, though. But lavender cream, I use it in a custom of mine. And it, it's nice. It's like a nice, rich herbal lavender with a little bit of cream to it. it. It's nice. You blend it with the bread and you blend it with the sugar cookie dough. This is just lavender bakery heaven. I love Dreamweaver. I have this in multiple forms in my home and coming in orders. So <laughs> I'm stocking up on my lavender. Uh, speaking of lavender, this is lavender, fresh picked strawberry, and mallow. I'm going to grab another bag of this in my next customs, which I'm actually, I just got my batch of customs, but I'm caught up again because I put my name on the list very quickly. Again, um, lavender and strawberry. I did a blend yesterday. Uh, which one? What did I, what did I name it? Um, I don't remember what I named it, but it's pink sugar, strawberry, uh, lavender, and marshmallow. I can't remember what I called it, but that is a delicious, gorgeous blend. This baby right here, though, you really get the integrity of the straw of the of the lavender. But this is fresh picked strawberry, so it's a little bit different than just strawberry. Strawberry is a little sweeter to my nose, but this fresh picked strawberry it just gives the perfect amount of strawberry that interjects into that lavender, and then you have the creamy marshmallow that just you know, gives it that extra bit of sweetness. I love this blend. This was a chunk. Love that one. 
Okay, next is one that is tried and true. This is Wildberry Mousse Sweet Cream Sugar Cookie Dough Zucchini Bread. This one I've had a thousand times. Um, this one has been poured quite a bit. Most of the time it's poured without sweet cream. But when Jen got the sweet cream oil, sweet cream is just sweetened condensed milk. It just adds a little bit of a little bit of um, substance, a little bit of some richness to it, kind of like vanilla butter fudge adds a little bit of heft to the the, the whatever blend you're adding it to. I find I, I asked for sweet cream to be poured with this configuration, and it's very similar to the Wildberry Mousse Sugar Cookie Dough Zucchini Bread, but it's just a little extra creamy, and I, I love that creamy comfort. So that's that one. Next is Coffin Cake. Coffin Cake is a fantastic, delicious, yummy caramel cake. This is so good. This is, I just got a message from my husband. He sent me a, a real my my conversations with my husband on social media are memes and reels we don't have conversations it's just funny shit so i think most of us are like that um this is butter pecan shortbread butter pecan is such a good oil i, I love that oil butter pecan shortbread caramel drizzle marshmallows and sugar cookie royale this was an oil from the halloween uh, halloween time last year a blend i should say i'm sorry from Halloween time last year. This is a delicious caramel cake. If you like caramel cake or caramel at that and you like bakery, give this one a try. It's pretty simple, but it's a really good blend. This next one is Cafe Cubano Spiced Oat Milk. This was in a trig tart. These are two separate oils, but together they are a masterpiece. I've talked about this a thousand times. I'm not going to go into detail again. If you haven't tried this, get on the bandwagon. It's bee bar worthy too. It's just, it can be blended with anything too. Love that. I'm trying to pick the pace up a little bit here. Uh, this next one is a custom of mine from two years ago, but this one has been poured many times since. This is Pink Dreams Are Made of This. This is Pink Frosted Cake, Strawberry Buttercream, and Waffle Cone. I know this blend in my sleep. And Pink Dreams Are Made of This. I had to sing. I tend to sing in my videos now, but I do in my life too. Um, train's going to go by too if you can't hear the whistle. I love this blend. I ordered more of this in my customs because I I added it on at the last minute because I thought, I don't have a pink frosted cake blend. I love pink frosted cake. Pink frosted cake is just simply yellow cake with strawberry frosting and it's phenomenal. Uh, this throws very, very well. It is creamy, rich, extra strawberry pink frosted cake. That's what this baby is. Love that. This next one is Graham Canyon. This is another one of my blends, but this was a customer creation contest winner from last spring, I think. This is vanilla ice cream, butterscotch, caramel, graham crackers, whipped cream, and marshmallow. This one is strong. It's a strong butterscotch blend. I find this is a little sharp. To my nose but it's beautifully blended with a lot of other things you can blend this with extra marshmallow you can blend this with coffee blend it with bakery you know but um, brown sugar pound cake vanilla pound cake zucchini bread any sort of cakes you can add a little bit of butterscotch to it and that tones that sharpness down this is graham canyon this is an ice cream Graham Canyon is an ice cream that the BYU Creamery actually makes and I get at the basketball games. It's graham cracker ice cream with honeycomb, chocolate coated honeycomb and fudge. So good. I'm sad basketball season's over. I can't get any more until next year. So, <laughs> so good. I love Graham Canyon. But she didn't have honeycomb, so I couldn't quite, couldn't quite do what I wanted to. Um, this next one is Hagrid's Hut. Hagrid's Hut is from her Harry Potter inspired line. Hagrid's Hut, I don't remember all the notes that are in it, but it is it is a different blend. It's an outdoorsy moss, oak moss, moss, damp, dark, dreary weather, depressing weather, what have you. This is one of those blends and I'm here for it. I just got a mini loaf of this in an order I received yesterday. Well, I opened it yesterday. I received it earlier this week. So <laughs> Hagrid's Hut, I had to buy more because it's probably not going to be poured all that much because it's, it's, it's loved by those of us that like those types of notes, but it's not, 
so popular, you know, where it would be poured all the time. So I had to, I had to get it when I could. But I love Hagrid's Hut. This next one is Amaretto Spiced Oat Milk Sweet Cream Foam. This one has got a lot of popularity lately because of the use of Amaretto. Um, I have been in love with Amaretto for years, and I felt like I was the only one who talked about Amaretto for a long time. Uh, Amaretto is Italian liqueur. It's made from almonds and oranges and apricots. At least uh, some, some of the, some of the um, liqueurs are. But to me, Amaretto is 100% exclusive almond. That's all I get from Amaretto. I love I love it. Amaretto is so strong, so powerful. It blends beautifully with bakery, and it blends beautifully with cherry and, and any sort of um, strong fruit like that, and it blends beautifully with coffee. So this one is... Spiced oat milk, of course, is the is the one we know and love. And then sweet cream foam, I think, is just, it's just a, it doesn't have much of anything to it. It's just a little bit of a vanilla, maybe. Um, I like this. It's a soft, comforting coffee blend with a little bit of almond. Love that. A couple more here. This next one is a blend she's probably poured a thousand times. This is pumpkin pecan waffles, strawberry pound cake, and zucchini bread. This one was a little scent shop cup, scent shot cup. These are $2, I think. This is just a beautiful marriage of strawberry pound cake with a little bit of the heft of the waffle and a little bit of that bread from the zucchini bread. This is creamy and delicious. That's, that's one of her OG blends. Next is winter snooze. This was a loaf. My husband loves this blend. I melted this at bedtime a lot in the holiday season. This is a blend I need more of. I'm gonna to have to request this either in my customs, this will be back because this is a popular one. Uh, this is Icy Peppermint Herbal Lavender and Chamomile. The only difference with Snooze Button and Winter Snooze, Snooze Button is a lavender blend also, but I don't remember exactly what's what all what it all is. And how this is different from Leanna's Lullaby. Leanna's Lullaby is is lavender and chamomile. This has peppermint to it. So I, I like they. I love every any of the lavenders that Jen has. Those oils. If you're a lavender lover, you're gonna be in love with them too. I love this blend. It throws well. It has the nice cooling comfort of that peppermint coupled with that lavender. I love winter snooze. This next one here, I'm almost to the end, guys. This next one here is Sleep Paralysis. This was another customer creation winner of mine from fall of 2022. This is Sleep Paralysis. This is when she did her, when she does her Halloween, um, she was murdered, and you have to figure out her killer and what, you know, that stuff like Clue. Uh, Sleep Paralysis was a blend. Um, sleep Paralysis is a real thing. My husband has had it from time to time. Uh, this is caramelized pralines, zucchini bread, and cream cheese frosting. So I don't always care for caramelized pralines, but when it's blended with the right other oils, I find it, it has it has a little bit, it's a little bit too much concentrated sweetness to me. It's it's almost how sometimes cotton candy can be so sugary sweet it's almost a little bit too rich sweet to me but i really liked the way that jen blended this with the cream cheese frosting to give a to give a little bit of extra creaminess to it and richness but then i put zucchini bread in it because you know zucchini bread why not i liked i really really liked this blend sleep paralysis uh, next are two little samples and then i'm done uh, this is peach graham cracker pie crust there was a peach blend on the pie day list, a peach pecan pie. I think I tried it. Uh, this, this peach oil, this is so strong. This actually was so strong, I thought about taking it out of my warmers because this, this is just, it's peach for days. I don't even get graham cracker. I don't even get pie crust. This is just peach. So if you're in love with just peach, give this baby a try. Peach, graham cracker crust, graham cracker pie crust. And finally, this one is sugared violet petals and warm vanilla sugar. I absolutely love this blend. She has blackberry sugared violets and sugared violet petals. I like them both. 
sugared violet petals is a little bit more uh, blackberry blackberry sugared violets to me is a little bit um stronger and sweeter fruitier whereas the sugared violet petals keeps a little bit more of that floral integrity but it adds a little bit of creaminess to it and i do not um, get too much of the warm vanilla sugar it's just there for extra extra sweetness i think so okay an hour and a half man i tried so this was part two of my empties from february i hope you enjoyed this video if you made it to the end um, I will be doing my March, um, my March empties this coming weekend, if not the following weekend. I just need to see how much I can get through this week. Um, I hope you guys have a beautiful week ahead. Happy St. Patrick's Day if you celebrate. Uh, we are not having corned beef and cabbage tonight. I'm having crock pot chicken and noodles, like I said. So um, stay safe, stay warm or cool. I know it's warming up. It's going to be in the 60s here and I'll see you soon. Whoops.